Thank you for watching this video. I'm Dr. Keith Quay, founder and CEO of GraceMe. We are committed to delivering gratitude through reviews. In this video, I will explain the details of our ICO offering and cover additional facts that are not written in the ICO paper. So stay tuned with me on this video. If you have any question about our ICO offering, please kindly send us your question on our Telegram channel at https colon double stroke t dot m e slash g r a z m e underscore i c o or at grace me as my telegram channel we will be sure to respond to you as soon as we can alternatively we have many other sources of ico announcements and faq so be sure to check out our ico page at ico.grace.me if you have yet to watch our product video, please kindly do so on our YouTube channel. We will post the link to our YouTube video right below the message board. So I urge you to watch our GraceMe product video to get a better understanding of our technology. Before we start, I would like to highlight the fact that GraceMe has achieved our test market in Singapore with ready customers. By being product ready and having customers in Singapore, we are minimizing the business risk related to this ICO. Our only task right now is to take our technology global. This video is bounded by the disclaimer clauses in our white paper and serves as an information source based on the best and present knowledge the Grace team has and is in no way a solicitation of token investment. GraceMe is an independent service staff review billboard that allows consumers and customers to review service staff. In the staff review process, customer feedback on business questions, sharing of good service via social media, and customer tipping is made possible within 30 to 60 seconds. GraceMe consolidates all customer reviews under a single platform and arrange average service rating for all businesses. GraceMe as a service billboard serves the good for all customers and consumers ready to make their purchases. GraceMe has the interest to look after businesses, service staff and customers within our ecosystem. For businesses, customer reviews help to improve business branding and reputation. For service staff, it's about getting service recognition and gratitude. And for customers, it is about getting the right purchase based on reviews from other customers. This is simple, right? Now, let us look at the problem. GraceMe was born as a result of our research study two years ago. At that time, we took on the challenge to find out why businesses kept losing customers. Service staff are unhappy with their job and customers who complain about bad purchases. It was a lot of work, and by the time we concluded our research, it is about understanding what the customers want. Some way and somehow during the sale process, miscommunications were the cause. So we need to find a common solution to resolve this problem for businesses, service staff, and customers. And therefore, the idea of having an independent service review billboard is conceived. GraceMe undertakes the challenge of resolving the problems associated with businesses on negative publicity as a result of bad service. Service staff that was stressful as a result of miscommunication with customers and customers' unhappiness about bad purchases. Maybe, I would say maybe, it is about miscommunications and misunderstanding between the different parties involved. Understanding the problems related to businesses, service staff, and customers give us the determination to position GraceMe as the independent service review platform. GraceMe acts as the central piece connecting businesses, service staff, and customers by using customer review as the means to resolve the miscommunication and misunderstanding. The review process involved in getting customer feedback is relatively simple. And this process takes less than 30 seconds to complete 
by starting with a QR code scan. The first step involves reviewing the service staff. Please note that for service staff review, we mean the service of the staff, not the personality or the person that is being reviewed. Every one of us is not in any position to judge another person. So let us be clear on this service review. The second step is the feedback. And in, in this case, it means answering all business related questions. So for this instance, if you as a customer need to provide feedback after a meal in a restaurant, it's all about the quality of the food, the cost of the meal and etc. Everything that the restaurant operator would like to know from you besides their service. Okay, so we are at the third step on social media. In this stage, if the customer thinks that the service staff has done well, be good to share the excellent service with friends via social media. Do note that the social media function will not be activated if the service review is bad. GraceMe is committed to not intimidating the service staff. We do not want to put the service staff under undue stress. And on the last step, it is about service tipping. If the customer thinks that the service staff deserve little monetary gratitude, GraceMe is pleased to facilitate this process. So we are on our mission now. As you know, GraceMe caters to businesses, service staff, and the customers. Our mission to businesses is to bridge the gap with their customers and help these businesses to understand their customers better. In the process of doing so, GraceMe will help to build the business branding and improve the revenue for these businesses. For service staff, we understand the rough of their long working hours, low pay, and sometimes facing customer abuses. So for service staff, GraceMe will help to get them the recognition, respect, and gratitude that they deserve. For customers, we know that too many of them have bad purchase experience. So our mission to customers is to provide the necessary review to help them with making great purchasing decisions. And sharing this positive experience with their friends in aid of service staff and businesses. Our mission is not an easy one, but with the right attitude, approach and support from our business customers, GraceMe will become the global blend for service review, just like what TripAdvisor has done on travel and Yelp for food. GraceMe will get there. Our vision is a simple one. In the process of bridging businesses, service staff and customers, and delivering gratitude through reviews, we aim to uncover heroes among service staff. We believe service staff deserve a little more appreciation from every one of us. For ICO, our vision is for the GraceMe token to be the global de facto service tipping token. We know this challenge is not easy, but as part of our global business expansion plan, we believe we'll get there sooner than we hope. Before we talk about our market size, let's understand a little more about TripAdvisor and Yelp. TripAdvisor is worth $6 billion as market cap, while Yelp is worth $3.5 billion. Both companies serve the niche of travel and food. But for GraceMe, our coverage is much wider to include all B2B and B2C service staff across all global industries. Apart from customer reviews, GraceMe facilitates customer tipping. The track market size for customer tipping is worth more than $1 trillion. This is definitely a huge market space to us. Currently, GraceMe is undergoing our test market in Singapore. With more than 50 customers with us, we are enjoying some success as a result of our research and sales and marketing effort. We have a young and energetic team building our platform and consistently improving it with feedback from our customers. Another reason we chose Singapore is due to the current ICO plan since Singapore has no restriction on ICOs. During our initial research, we took on the challenge to find out why businesses kept losing customers. Service staff are unhappy with their job 
and customers are complaining about bad purchases. In the process, we went on further to better understand customer retention and acquisition. We managed to gather some statistics and we compared the findings of our research versus secondary data and somehow the statistics match each other. At a high percentage level, 95% of customers do return when their negative feedback are resolved and 85% of customers will buy based on positive review. In a nutshell, customers love to have their feedback resolved. It is as though businesses are listening to their customers and delivering what the customers need. So let's look at the GraceMe platform. The front end customer review touch points include the simple web page and the GraceMe mobile app. The web version is available because we know many customers would not download our app for a start just for providing reviews. So the web version allows a simple user experience to solicit reviews on service staff and to answer business questions. In the middle is our GraceMe portal where all business managers manage their service information and retrieve all customer reviews. On the back end, our platform includes our servers and databases that are all powered by the Google Cloud. This arrangement allows us to scale regarding the number of reviews as well as global business expansion requirements. Let's look at the customer touch points via the GraceMe mobile app. Please note that the customer review process flow works the same for web page version as well as the GraceMe app. So for simplicity, we will discuss the mobile app version. The steps required to provide customer reviews are simple. First, the customer scans the QR code located within the premise of the outlet or when the service staff displays their QR code via the GraceMe mobile app. Once the QR code is scanned, the staff of the location is displayed. The customer will then tap on the service staff for review. The staff review requires two different rating scale. The first is the number rating from one to five with emoji to display each number. The second step is to provide comments on the staff. The comment on the staff is an optional step, but GraceMe encourages customers to provide their comments. Next, the business questions are displayed. On this page, the business can ask as many questions as they want, but the recommended 30 second rule always applies. Next is the sharing of staff reviews on social media and followed by the customer tipping that we're going to implement. Once this is done, the customer will then be entitled to redeem a promotional offer that is available via the promotion step within the GraceMe mobile app. We will discuss further on the promotion step shortly. So this is the display of a backend portal. Do note that only assigned business administrators will have access to our portal. Within the portal, the business administrators can configure company, outlets, stations, and staff. Additionally, the informative dashboard provides a summarized view of the staff ratings via charts and consolidate as an outlet or station grouping mode. The business administrator can input the date range to get a better picture of the staff performance and download the law data for report jet preparation. Raise Me Promotions is the bridging benefit that ties customers to businesses. So far, the GraceMe team observed a little more extreme reviews on the staff, but the introduction of GraceMe promotions helped to make it mitigate the extreme rating effect. More incentivizing customers to provide a review. The quantitative effect of extreme reviews gets averaged out, and the true effect of service score gets more accurate over time. GraceMe promotions helps businesses to acquire new customers through our cross-marketing effort and customer retention when bad reviews are resolved or incentivizing customers to return through discounts. GraceMe promotions analyze the promotional offers by each customer and over the long term, 
GraceMe promotion is able to target the relevant customers on each potential promotions and thereby to increase the value of the business and GraceMe promotions revenue. GraceMe expects this promotions related revenue to be a significant part of our total revenue once the number of users crosses our trendifying threshold. The tokenization of GraceMe. So why did we decide to proceed with the issuance of GraceMe tokens? The explanations are simple. First, GraceMe has successfully conducted our test market in Singapore and they are ready to take on the world. The investment revenue raised via GraceMe tokens allow us to expand our business operation globally. Secondly, GraceMe hopes to facilitate more service staff tipping, and we mean tipping to all service staff, but not just to those restaurant staff only. This staff can be working in the retail sector or just a delivery guy or any other corporate staff that are customer facing. GraceMe hopes to expand the scope of staff tipping beyond the restaurant sector. Thirdly, GraceMe will challenge businesses that collect the service charge from customers and not sharing this service charge with their employees. Many service staff and customers that we spoke with have voiced concern of their unhappiness on this service charge matter. And in more than 99% of circumstances, the service staff are not getting a cent out of the service charges. This phenomenon plagues many customers and service staff, but most businesses are using these service charges as part of their business profitability. So we hope to address this issue by allowing the customers to tip the service staff directly through our platform by using our tokens. The implementation of a blockchain for the GraceMe token allowed a gradual appreciation of our token value over time. Yes, this is the GraceMe long-term commitment to all our token members and GraceMe aspires to make our token as a cryptocurrency investment portfolio grade. Yep, you heard me correctly. Our business model and approach will justify our quest to make GraceMe as a cryptocurrency investment portfolio grade. So let's look at how the GraceMe blockchain facilitates and benefits our respective stakeholders in our ecosystem. For businesses, GraceMe aims to get them to share a portion of their service charge to the service staff. By doing so, businesses get to minimize staff attrition rate and provide a better quality service to their customers. And in short, to long-term increase business revenue. Before I get to talk about service staff, I would like to introduce the concept of G-Points. G-Points is a service measurement index that is used to measure the service staff tipping from customers. Well, getting a 5-star rating may be easy for many service staff, but getting customer tipping can be a true measurement of quality service. Each customer tipping of 10 cents gets packed to 1 G-Points. So if a service staff gets $1 as customer tipping, then he or she will get 10 G-Points. This G point stays with the service staff forever. And by using blockchain to authenticate all customer tipping, the G points get validated by different witnesses or nodes. GraceMe has a service billboard, and having G points to rank the service staff is one of our service matrices to provide a competitive ranking on the service staff. So let's look at the service staff. Our blockchain facilitates the customer tipping via GraceMe tokens and tracks these transactions and recognizes the number of tokens each service staff has. For the customers, all staff tipping gets recorded and GraceMe can track which customers are the best rewarding tippers. Finally, the G points allow our service billboard to track the competition of service rating among staff and businesses and the outcome of periodical competitions provide recognition to the businesses and their staff. This is beautiful, isn't it? The tokenomics pretty much summarize what I've presented on our tokenization and blockchain. For businesses, it is about purchasing the GraceMe token and rewarding their staff on the sharing of service charges. For customers, it is about the tipping of the service staff directly 
and for service staff, it is about receiving the service tipping via the GraceMe token and the G points accumulations over time. I would say that the blockchain transactions will be implemented in the fourth quarter of 2018, after the end of the ICO campaign. So all GraceMe tokens purchased during the ICO campaign will still be transacted via a crypto exchange that GraceMe lists on. As of now, GraceMe is delaying the decision of finalizing which crypto exchange to list because we want to be closer to all our token members. It makes more sense to work with a crypto exchange that is geographically closer to the majority of our token member. This is our view for now, but things might change during the ICO campaign. For whatever the changes might be, we will be making the announcements via our crypto forum, ico.grace.me webpage, emails to existing and potential token members, and press releases. So do stay with us on this. The GraceMe ICO campaign consists of four separate events with different bonus level for token members. The first event is of a special private event that awards 40% bonus for every token purchase. This means when a token member purchases 1 million tokens, he or she will get an extra 400,000 tokens as a bonus. The second event is our private event where token members get 30% bonus on their token purchase. Please note that the special private and private event has a minimum purchase of 2,000 US dollars. The third event is our pre-ICO event where it is a two week duration. On the first week, token members get 20% and for the second week, only 15% bonus will be given. The actual ICO event will be the last event of our ICO and similarly, this is a two week event where 10% bonus is given on week one and 5% bonus is given on week two. The GraceMe ICO token sale event is based on a while wow stock last basis and GraceMe reserved the right to make relevant changes at our discretion. However, any changes will be communicated to all token and potential token members. The payment for this ICO event will be made in crypto using Bitcoin and Ethereum and fiat using US dollars. For potential members looking at investment using other fiat currency, kindly be in touch with us via our Telegram channel and we will accommodate special arrangements. The hard cap for the GraceMe ICO is 27.5 million and the soft cap is 3 million. The price per token is 10 cents US and the total tokens generated for the GraceMe ICO is 500 million. There will be promotional incentive on the purchase of GraceMe token during the ICO event, which will be announced via our communication channels and press releases. So please stay with tuned to this announcement. Based on the 500 million tokens generated for the GraceMe ICO, 55% is available as a public sale. Founders and team members will only get 14% as allocation. 9% for advisors, 9% as partner and customer acquisitions, and 13% as reserve. All unsold tokens allocated during the public sale will be parked under the reserve section and to be used as per GraceMe's discretion for the benefit of business expansion, marketing promotions, and staff incentives. As discussed before, GraceMe has completed our test market in Singapore with ready customers. The main purpose of this ICO exercise allows GraceMe to expand our business operation globally. So for the ICO proceeds, 60% will be used for all sales and marketing related expenditure. 20% will be used as research and development, 15% as operation costs, and the last 5% will be used as platform development fees on blockchain and platform security. All token members will get to enjoy the benefits that are dished out as part of our business commitment to this ICO. Firstly, all token members with an investment of 25,000 US dollars or equivalent will get to use our Gracely service staff review platform for two years free at up to 1,000 service staff. On a country level accumulation basis, a total of 5 million US dollars invested 
will get Gracemi to open our office in the country. Do note that this is based on a total token purchase per country. For instance, if Canadian token members invest more than 5 million, Gracemi will have our office set up in Canada. This arrangement is our commitment to our token members as part of our business expansion move. Thirdly, Gracemi will use 10% of our revenue to buy back our token at open market price at the crypto exchange on a monthly basis and burn this Gracemi tokens. This token buyback is intended to string the Gracemi tokens float and drive up the price of the Gracemi token over the long term. The GraceMe team has yet to finalize the final percentage to be left in the open market and this depends on our business revenue and the pace of our global business expansion. GraceMe is in favor of rewarding GraceMe token members in the long term. Fourthly, GraceMe is committed to the use of our tokens within our ecosystem. The GraceMe token usage comes in the form of customer tipping, product subscription and advertisements on our platform. The generation of G points as an award to service staff tipping is a byproduct of our service index measurement on ranking service staff. Lastly, GraceMe commits to the use of our token in situations where the price of our token falls below the ICO price of 10 cents US. Marketing campaigns will be in place to encourage the use of GraceMe tokens for tipping, and these campaigns will target businesses and customers. So I hope I have given you a good knowledge of the utility of our GraceMe token within our ecosystem. GraceMe commits to the long-term appreciation of our tokens for the benefit of our supportive token members. The revenue source of GraceMe comes from three different sources. The first source is our product subscription. GraceMe product subscription is broken down into two different modes, basic service staff reviews and social media sharing functions. The second revenue source is the commission derived from customer tipping, where GraceMe gets a percentage of the tipping amount. The third revenue source is the advertisement ads, such as promotions and on-due ads. GraceMe foresee a gradual revenue increase in advertising revenue when our business and customer base starts to grow. So, this is my team and me. I chart all sales, marketing, and product development. Anthony and Francis look after the business aspect of GraceMe, while Ron looks after the technical aspect and working with Aaron as the product lead. Jinwi and Peter are our front-end developers, while Nick and Oshiko are our back-end developers. Additionally, we have Zero, Huishan, Emma, Manish, Rana, and the rest of the engineers that are not shown on this slide. For businesses and legal advisors, we have quite a few respectable people with us. Firstly, Mr. Nizam Ismail is a partner and head at RHT Law Taylor Wesling. Nizam is very active in the ICO space and a frequent speaker at major ICO events. Before that, Nizam held various legal roles within the financial industry, including that of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Next, we have Mr. Hitesh Chatrala, who is a Silicon Valley investor and a co-founder at Synapse in the Valley area. Next, we have Mr. Ray Sugiato, who is the CEO of Wise Pacific, one of the largest IT distributors in Indonesia. Similarly, we have Mr. Andy Wu, Director of Pacific Tech as our business advisor. Pacific Tech is one of the largest IT distribution in Southeast Asia. Finally, we have Mr. Joseph Mu, who is the CEO of Delta Communication. Delta Communication, as its name sounds, is a firm who is trusted by companies in Asia to deliver non-standard communication equipment and infrastructure. Together, Nizam, Hitesh, Ray, Andy, and Joseph have backed GraceMe for this ICO with valuable business and legal advice. Our customers are all that matters. GraceMe has been successful in what we do in Singapore. We have a ready product, 
we have our customers, and we have a healthy sales pipeline. This name study I've seen here can vouch for our technology and our business model. As part of this ICO campaign, we will be releasing some customer testimonial videos. So stay tuned for these videos. Among this customer, you can see a mix of business customers within healthcare, hospitality, civil engineering, retail, restaurant, technology companies, and many more. It is a different mix of business customer we have established to allow GraceMe to penetrate more business customers in time to come. So let's summarize what we have gone through in this presentation video. GraceMe serves gratitude through reviews and in the process helps businesses, service staff and customers to get what they are looking for. For businesses, GraceMe helps them to improve branding and reputation and business revenue. For service staff, it is about getting the gratitude from customers and possibly service tipping. For customers, it is about providing an independent and trustworthy third-party review that justifies purchasing decisions and offering of promotional discounts as a reward of their reviews. As part of our research and successful test market in Singapore, GraceMe is ready as a service billboard and platform with existing and potential customers. And this ICO serves our need for global expansion. The potential market size for GraceMe far exceeds 1 trillion US dollars. And the potential to reach out and changes the lives of more than 90% of the global population. This ambition is what the Grace team is shooting for. And I hope you will support and work with us to achieve this dream together. We promise you our hard work and commitment to success. And the missing factor now is the success equation is your support on our tokens. Before I go, I'm going to leave you with this list of resources where you can find our product information, communication channels, and videos. Be sure that we will be adding more along the way. And if you need any information, please be sure to reach me through Telegram, Skype, or email. I hope I've shared enough information with you and I look forward to seeing you soon.